Anything comes up. Relentless. Investigators assure family members that they're working hard to crack the case. While loved ones continue to mourn Andrew Thomas and his one year old son, baby Drew, the Oakland Police Department is following leads. After losing two generations of his family, the father and grandfather of the victims is asking for answers. Somebody had to let him know what bed he was sleeping in because he was asleep. Anybody that was in, in and out that house at that time of night is suspect. This candlelight vigil for the toddler comes three days before his funeral. His mother, Alicia Jackson, is devastated, knowing she will have to bury her only son. You killed an innocent child and an innocent man. You, it's, it's enough to see all these innocent kids getting killed and their family has to bury their child. At what point do we say enough's enough? And we've got kids being killed in this so-called game, as it's referred to, this street violence. And what part of the game is a one-year-old child, a three-year-old child, an eight-year-old child? OPD's reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or people responsible is $20,000. The organization Citizens for the Lost added another 10 k bringing the total reward to $30,000. Now the community is holding a fundraiser tomorrow in hopes of bringing that reward money even higher. In Oakland, Alicia Reed, Cron4 News.